okay so today we will be learning about orbits in number theory in fact taking a step forward you can also learn orbits in group theory but this is for olympiad number theory and we were working with a problem which said that if p is a prime number then p square divides 2p choose p minus 2 p square divides 2p choose p minus 2 and we want to show this this is our goal in the last two videos and the link is in the description you can definitely watch those two videos before watching this one we reinterpreted this particular number theory problem in a more geometric manner we said that okay this is the total number of tablets these are the fixed points so we learned about fixed points in number theory and combinatorics that's a very important concept two tablets which do not transform under any of the forces and p squared is the total number of forces total forces so we want to show that the total number of forces divides the number of tablets minus minus the ones which do not transform at all and how do we show this well in this particular video we will learn how to use the notion of orbits to show exactly that now what is an orbit i'll give you an example because that's the way, way i actually understand it and you will be immediately understanding the meaning of the word orbit so let's start with one tablet let's start with one tablet we know that uh, we are taking the example of p equal to 3, the prime 3. And so 2p choose p is 6 choose 3, which is 20. So there are 20 tablets. 6 choose 3 means we made a tablet with alpha and beta as the two columns and 0, 1, 2 as the three rows. So out of these six boxes, we choose three of them out of the six boxes we choose three of them so maybe we can choose these three so this is one of these 20 ways one of these 20 tablets that we can make and for the heck of it we just put a cross in the remaining boxes you may not do it because those are the very precisely three boxes which are left out after putting the red dots okay so let's call this tablet 1 and what we will do is we will put a force on this particular tablet so what were the forces so the forces were the forces were 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 each of these forces are acting on these tablets and they are converting in each tablet into into something else so what does the force 0 comma 0 do in the previous video we said this transforms it back in itself so you can call this an identity transformation because it does nothing to the it does not change the tablet at all it keeps it exactly the same okay so this is the 0 comma 0 force okay what does the force 1 comma 0 uh, 0 comma 1 what does the force 0 comma 1 do okay let's draw that we have another tablet we have another tablet now 0 comma 1 so the first column does not change doesn't change at all in the second column each element goes up by one unit so this one goes here and the crosses will go to the so it's happening cyclically so this particular cross will come back here and this cross will go here so we have the two crosses down here great so this is the situation of 0 comma 1 
what happens to when I plug in 0, 0,2 instead of 0, 0,1 let's plug in 0, 0,2 what what happens at that what happens at that time okay so the first column remains the same so I'll draw it here the first column remains the same because every block goes zero units up so it doesn't go away uh, go at all so this is dot dot and cross and the second one goes like this you go two units hops around two units so one and then the next one is here so the dot goes here and the crosses will take out take up the remaining two slots so this is the 0 comma 2 so you can think of this initial tablet as a planet or as a as as a tab as a circular disk of a carom board and it it is been struck to different transformed figures by each of the forces so orbit of this particular tablet orbit of this particular tablet are the is the collection of the transformed figures whatever happens to the tablet that we start off with so we started off with tablet one and whatever happens to this tablet one so it became a new tablet by 0 comma 0 well tablet it became tablet 1 by 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 made it another one 0 comma 2 makes it another one and so on tablet 3 and similarly 1 comma 0 will make it another one tablet 4 1 comma 1 will make it another one tablet 5 1 comma 2 will make it another one tablet 6 similarly 2 comma 1 will make it another one tablet 7 2 comma 2 will make it another one tablet 8 and 2 comma 3 will make it another one tablet 9 so each of the forces will convert this starting tablet the one that we started off with our focus point each of the each of the forces will convert this special tablet one into nine different tablets that's our claim that's what we want to show but this collection of these nine tablets this collection of these nine tablets is known as the orbit orbit of tablet one the orbit of tablet one Okay, so you understand what is orbit. Orbit are the transformed figures of the star of the one that we started off with. We take one special tablet, one the one that we want to investigate, and we see what happens to it under each of the forces. We collect all of those outputs. We collect all of those outputs. We put that in one basket. That basket, that set of tablets, is known as the orbit of this one the one under investigation okay all right it's very good so there are nine of them so i am claiming and this is something you will prove i'm claiming that these are unique these are unique in the sense no two of the outputs are same what do i mean by that so i'm saying that 1 comma 1 when it acts on tablet 1 whatever the output is and 2 comma 1 when it acts on tablet 1 whatever the output is these two will be different the outputs if the forces are different the outputs will be different so if forces are distinct then the output will be distinct okay so that's what i want to claim 
can you give me and this we discussed in class can you give me in the comment a rigorous argument why if the forces are different the output will be different why that will happen can you give me a rigorous proof of that fact it's quite simple i mean you have to start off with alpha comma 0 to beta comma 2 so these are the names of each of these slots here and then you have to use two forces maybe force 1 is x1 x2 force 2 is y1 y2 the forces are different and you have to show that the output has to be different in the cases in both of these cases so if this is tablet 1 suppose one okay so for nine forces we will have nine different tablets in the orbit so the size of an orbit the size of an orbit is equal to the number of forces size of an orbit is equal to the number of forces the second thing that you would like to show the number two the second thing is that two orbits are either completely different or they are exactly the same so two orbits are either completely different orbits are set remember completely different completely different or they are exactly the same so two orbits even if they have one element in common that's how you, you actually that's the method of proof you show that if there is one element in common then the two orbits are exactly the same set can you show this in the comment in the description put a rigorous proof of this and this is not hard this is easy show that if two orbits contain even one element in common even one element in common then the two orbits will be exactly the same set wise okay so now what does it say it says that apart from the two fixed points the remaining tablets the remaining tablets can be split up into orbits this is absolutely fantastic if you take the 2 p choose p minus 2 tablets you can split it up into orbits of some tablet each of them are distinct because no two orbits are same and they together make up the entire set of tablets because every tablet will be in some orbit because if you take every tablet will be at least in its own orbit right because if you start with any tablet and if you hit it with 0 comma 0 the output will be that same tablet so every tablet will be in its own orbit so they, it is in some orbit that means you can split up this 2 p choose p minus 2 minus 2 because of you throw away this fixed ones that doesn't get transformed at all all the remaining ones get transformed so they create orbits with nine elements each, each for the case p equal to three so you can split up this 2 p choose p minus 2 number of tablets into small packages of nine elements each each of them are precisely the orbit of an element which means 9 or p square divides 2 p choose p minus 2 it's a wonderful problem we learned a lot from this uh, you should try to rigorously prove the one things that i asked you to prove and the next one we will do some more beautiful problems thank you